Diamonds have always captured human imagination, symbols of beauty, durability, and rarity. But in the Anya Jayak Laboratory at UC Santa Barbara, diamonds take on a new life. They are no longer just precious stones. They are high-precision instruments capable of sensing the invisible world at the quantum level. At the heart of this research are tiny imperfections in diamonds, called nitrogen vacancy centers or NV. Imagine a single nitrogen atom sneaking into the rigid lattice of carbon atoms, leaving a tiny empty spot next to it. It sounds like a flaw, but this imperfection is what makes diamonds extraordinary for quantum science. NV centers trap electrons whose spins can be manipulated, entangled, and read out, turning a diamond into a microscopic laboratory. Unlike other quantum systems that need ultra-low temperatures or near-perfect isolation, diamonds with NV centers operate at room temperature, opening the door to practical, versatile quantum sensors. Jaika's lab is pioneering ways to use these defects not just to observe quantum phenomena but to enhance measurements in ways previously thought impossible. In the lab, you might see a postdoc peering through a microscope, a green laser dancing across a diamond sample, or microwaves whispering to the spins inside. Each experiment is a delicate choreography, and every photon collected is a step closer to understanding the quantum world. To understand why these diamonds are so powerful, we need to talk about spins and qubits. In classical computing, a bit is either zero or one. The qubit, however, is a quantum bit that can exist in a mixture of zero and one simultaneously, thanks to the strange rules of quantum mechanics. In NV centers, the qubit is an electron spin, a tiny magnetic compass needle that can point in multiple directions at once. Scientists can manipulate these spins using lasers and microwaves, flipping them, creating superpositions, or linking them together. Imagine trying to read a whisper in a noisy room. A single spin is like a tiny voice, easy to lose among background noise. Jaika's lab's genius is finding ways to amplify that whisper, turning it into a chorus of voices that can be heard clearly. This is what makes their diamonds not just beautiful, but exceptionally powerful quantum sensors. Initially, quantum sensing experiments focused on individual NV centers, which offer ultrafine spatial resolution but weak overall signals, or on sparse ensembles of NVs, which provide stronger signals but are limited by quantum noise. The Jayak Lab introduced a game-changing concept, dense, two-dimensional NV ensembles. By arranging many NV centers closely together in a thin layer, they exploit dipole-dipole interactions, tiny magnetic interactions between spins. These interactions allow the spins to work collectively, producing stronger, entangled quantum states. Think of it like a choir, a single voice is clear but quiet. A group of voices, carefully harmonized, can fill a room. In the same way, Interacting NV spins create a stronger, more precise quantum measurement than independent spins could achieve. Creating these ensembles is no simple task. The crystal orientation of the diamond is crucial. Jaga's team grows diamonds on the 111 plane, which naturally aligns NV centers in a favorable way. They also use plasma-enhanced chemical vapor deposition, PCVD, to carefully control the number position, and depth of NV centers. This allows them to confine the NV centers to a thin layer just nanometers below the diamond surface, close enough to detect external signals but protected enough to preserve their delicate quantum properties. Imagine walking along the edge of a narrow cliff, one step too far and you could fall. The team must incorporate NV centers within nanometers of each other and of the surface, balancing proximity for sensitivity with protection for stability. By fine-tuning the growth conditions and the substrate's microscopic angle, the researchers optimize both density and interaction strengths, creating ideal conditions for entanglement and quantum-enhanced sensing. Once the NV ensemble is established, the next step is to manipulate it into a spin-squeezed state. Spin-squeezing redistributes quantum uncertainty, it reduces uncertainty along one measurement axis while increasing it along another. Why is this useful? In conventional measurements, quantum noise limits precision. 
By squeezing the spins, Jaika's lab can measure magnetic fields with greater sensitivity than classical physics would allow. In March 2025, postdoctoral researcher Lillian Hughes and collaborators achieved the first spin squeezing in a solid-state NV ensemble at room temperature. The team carefully orchestrated dipole-dipole interactions and isolated a relatively ordered subensemble within the randomly positioned spins. Even with disorder, they successfully detected measurable squeezing. Think of a crowded dance floor. Normally, dancers move randomly, bumping into each other. The team found a way to have everyone move in perfect, synchronized patterns, producing a collective effect far more impressive than random motions. That is quantum choreography at work. Entanglement is powerful, but sometimes the signal itself is still too small. To address this, Jaga's team developed a technique called the asymmetric many-body echo. Here's a visual. Imagine dropping a pebble into a calm pond. In a normal pond, the ripple is small and fades quickly. In a carefully tuned quantum pond or the NV ensemble, the ripple grows as it interacts with all the spins collectively. By applying a sequence of laser and microwave pulses, the researchers engineer the spin's evolution so that weak signals amplify before measurement, without proportionally increasing noise. This technique, demonstrated in a 2025 Nature paper, complements spin squeezing, offering another pathway to surpass the classical limits of measurement. Jaika's lab employs a range of sophisticated techniques to extract signals from NV ensembles. One key approach is Ramsey interferometry, which prepares the spins in a superposition state, allows them to evolve under a magnetic field, and then measures the resulting phase to reveal subtle interactions. To combat noise and extend coherence, the researchers use echo sequences, which effectively refocus inhomogeneous fluctuations and maintain the integrity of the quantum state. In addition, the lab has developed interaction-enabled noise spectroscopy, a clever method that detects spin squeezing in dense ensembles without the need to measure each spin individually, allowing them to uncover collective quantum behaviors in a practical and efficient way. Through these methods, the team can quantify quantum correlations and understand how entanglement improves measurement precision. Imagine trying to eavesdrop on a whisper in a crowded room. Ramsey interferometry is like giving the whisper time to grow louder. Echo sequences are like tuning your ears to block distractions. And noise spectroscopy is like detecting patterns in the collective murmurs. Together, these techniques let the lab hear signals that would otherwise be lost. Jaika's work goes far beyond scientific curiosity, opening the door to a wide range of practical applications. By placing dense NV ensembles near the diamond surface, her team can detect incredibly weak magnetic fields, whether they originate from single molecules, nanoscale devices, or atomically thin materials. This capability enables nanoscale NMR spectroscopy, where even tiny numbers of nuclear spins in molecules can be observed, and it advances research on superconducting and magnetic materials, allowing scientists to image vortices or exotic magnetic textures such as skirmions. The techniques also hold promise for biological sensing, making it possible to detect magnetic signals in living cells without causing damage, and for quantum-enhanced microscopy, offering unprecedented sensitivity to nanoscale magnetic fields. In essence, the lab's diamonds act as quantum magnifying glasses, revealing magnetic phenomena that are invisible to conventional instruments. While the results from Jaika's lab are truly impressive, several challenges remain. The random positioning of NV centers during diamond growth can limit both entanglement and signal amplification, while shallow NVs near the surface are vulnerable to decoherence from defects and adsorbed molecules. Efficiently collecting photons and controlling microwaves for large ensembles also demands advanced engineering solutions. To address these hurdles, the team is exploring deterministic placement of NV centers, innovative surface engineering, and integration with nanophotonic structures, aiming to create sensors that are not only highly sensitive but also practical for use outside the lab. Behind these breakthroughs are the brilliant minds of researchers like Lillian Hughes, postdocs and graduate students, 
who spend countless hours aligning lasers, growing flawless diamond layers, and refining control sequences. Their work combines precision, patience, and creativity, transforming each crystal into a window into the quantum world, where every photon counted and every sequence perfected brings the vision of practical quantum sensing closer to reality. Anya Jayaka's laboratory has effectively transformed diamonds into quantum instruments capable of detecting the invisible with unprecedented sensitivity. By developing dense, two-dimensional NV ensembles, demonstrating spin squeezing, and creating many-body echo amplification techniques, the team has shown that solid-state quantum sensors can surpass classical limits, all at room temperature. These achievements usher in a new era in which diamonds are no longer merely symbols of wealth. They are powerful tools for exploring the quantum universe, sensing single molecules, nanoscale devices, and subtle magnetic phenomena. With ongoing innovation in materials, control techniques, and system integration, Jayaka's lab is paving the way for quantum-enhanced sensors that could revolutionize biology, materials science, and quantum technology, proving that sometimes the most extraordinary discoveries lie hidden within the tiniest imperfections.